Welcome to Sandy Flats Kids Art School. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome to Kids Art School. It's Sandy here and today we're going to draw a meerkat. Yay! I love meerkats. Some fun facts about meerkats. Did you know that a meerkat can get bitten by a snake or a scorpion and not die? Yeah, amazing. And also they live in families of 40 to 50 meerkats and they're really good at looking after their babies. And oh, meerkats are really good at relaxing. Yeah, so cute. Okay, let's have a look at our meerkat. He has two little small eyes with bigger circles around them. He has a small head and a really long body and really long arms and a long tail that helps him balance. Yeah, okay. So let's start drawing him. Let's start with those eyes, two little circles with dots in the middle. Yeah, there we go. And around that, we're going to draw two bigger circles. And later on, if you want to, you can color them in. Yeah, I know. That's amazing. There's a little triangle nose underneath. And now we're drawing the mouth, which is a curve up to the left and a curve up to the right. Cute. And, oh, I'm sticking in a little tongue. I always do that. Well, not always, but sometimes. Yeah, when I feel like it. Now let's draw the head. And I've started above the right eye and done a curve. Yeah, and a little curvy ear. Yeah, and now I'll draw the other part of the head just starting under that right eye this time. Little curve, and I will add in the little ear where I've drawn those dots. Yeah, there we go. There's the head. Remember, if you want to, you can go back to the beginning. You can pause the button so that we'll press the pause button so that you can, you know, check out how you're going and start again and rub out. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so let's draw the body a big curve down to the left and a big bumpy curve just there. That's the top of the left leg. And on the other side, we'll draw a curve down and bump it out a little bit there. And you can draw a dot where you're going and curve it round. There's the top of the right leg. Yeah. Now the little feet, there we go, are down the bottom there and a curve across and the other little foot. There we go, and they're like little sausages. Yeah, three little sausages. Just like our owl that we just did. Go back and check out the owl. And the arms curving down. And those arms are basically two straight lines going down with a tiny curve at the bottom. Remember the arms are long. Now their claws are like this, and they're like three sort of skinny little sausages. Yeah, like the feet but skinnier and smaller. Now connect between the arms a little curve and do a big loop down there and start up the top of the right arm and curve it down and there we have the belly, the inside of the belly. Now we're gonna start the tail and I've drawn two dots and done a big curve and another curve to join it up. There's the tail and the hairy belly. Yeah, there we go, there's our meerkat. Oh, he's so funny. I like them. They are very amusing. Okay, here are some colouring in ideas. Now I've kind of done this sort of tanny, orangey colour. Little dots. Don't have to colour it right in. Some grey bits. And I haven't totally coloured in the belly. I've left little bits of it white because meerkats have, you know, smudges of colour. And I've coloured in around the eyes and at the tip of the tail because that's what meerkats look like. Yes, and did you know you could colour in your meerkat a light aqua colour? Yes, just to be trendy, because that was trendy right now. Yes, yes, I thought that was pretty. And make sure you keep watching to the end of this video because I have some really funny meerkat drawing ideas. Oh, yeah. look, did you know? Did you know that when you draw, yeah, you can... Ooh, wait for it. Be like a meerkat. Yes, you can. You can be like a meerkat if you're having a really bad day and you're melting down and you're cranky and you're tired and you're just not coping. If you draw, you can be like a meerkat. Ah, like this. He's so relaxed because he's done all these drawings. That's what drawing's good for. Did you know? Kids Art School Gallery. And today we have two drawings from twins. Yes. One is a llama by Sophie. And she's drawn a penguin next to it. And I've got a feeling that that llama might be flying. Well done, Sophie. And Emily, her twin, has drawn the tiger. Yes, it's a hungry tiger. And I think he might be eating the leg of another tiger. Am I right or am I wrong? 
Yes, Tiger Tom. If you want to be like Emily and Sophie, send your drawings and any drawing requests to the Sandy Fleds, Fleds, Flet Kids Art School Facebook group or sandyfledart.com. And remember, you are unique and you are special and God loves you so much. And keep tuning in because we have more drawing ideas for the meerkat. Yes, you could draw a family of meerkats. Lots and 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 lots of meerkats together. You could draw another meerkat who's relaxing on a surfboard. Yes, going surfing. Oh my goodness, I've drawn a Donald Trump meerkat. And he says drawing is bigly relaxing. Great English there. Yeah, but he's right. Remember... Before I go to be like a meerkat, yeah, you too can be like this meerkat. He's saying, ah, I am so relaxed. I'm so relaxed. I've been drawing. Yeah, it feels so good. I'm not cranky anymore. No. Okay, see you later. Bye. Keep on relaxing with your drawings. See you later. Bye. See ya. Hoo -hoo.